Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk about mountain weather and ski conditions here for the next four days. So today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and also Monday. I'll tell you off the bat, there are two different storm systems that will hit the, the west coast, the Pacific Northwest, and then send moisture into the interior. So what you're looking at here is our future radar. I've got the jet stream overlaid so you can see the steering current with all of this. So started today we'll cruise we'll stop the clock here this is saturday at five or one and you've got snow falling basically all the way from northern cal up into british columbia and then all that moisture gets moved at least some of it survives into the interior this is the weaker of the two storm systems but snow here saturday 5 p.m through uh, a lot of Jackson Hole, the Tetons coming across, just brushing northern Utah. That storm then fades out into oblivion. Here comes storm number two, right there. There's a low pressure, and then that sucker moves in. This was the stronger of the two, pushes moisture into the interior. This is Sunday at 5 p.m. Notice the next round of snow rolling through the Tetons. This one is a little longer lasting, will dig a little bit deeper and is coddled a little bit more with the jet stream. So your low is about right here at that point and then look what happens, it digs, moves through parts of Utah. This is Monday at five. You've got snow and you've also got snow in Colorado, Sunday night and Monday morning. As far as accumulation goes, with that dip in the jet, you're bringing the most snow up here where I've got three feet labeled into Washington, Snoqualmie, down to Baker and Rainier, up into parts of uh, uh, the coastal range, British Columbia, and some good snow back into the interior close to Banff and Sunshine, Kicking Horse, and then some pretty good snow with two different waves coming through uh, of the Tetons. But again, most of the snow in Utah and Colorado comes in Sunday night and Monday. Zooming in. So parts of Idaho and western Montana in for some snow here between today and Monday. Not a huge amount, but some good skiing through Schweitzer and Silver Mountain. Down into Utah, you can see the amounts coming there. Again, not blockbuster amounts, but at least enough to freshen things up through uh, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. Up into parts of the Tetons here, I I'm thinking at least 12 plus, if not you know, in that range of one to two feet for Jackson Hole, the Grand, and over towards Grand Targhee between Friday and Monday. In Colorado, a lot of this snow comes in Sunday night and Monday. And we're not talking about huge amounts here, but a nice little pocket over Steamboat and Buffalo Pass down to the I-70 corridor. This is not huge, obviously, but a one to four inch snow coming mainly on Monday there, Sunday night, Monday, and then less as you work your way towards the West Elks down into the, uh, the San Juan Mountains. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Have a great weekend and enjoy the power if you can find it there and uh, have a good one.